Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh ooh. I said cognac, ooh ooh ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. but it's, it's more of a story about what goes on behind the scenes that you're uh, not maybe aware of being a baseball fan. Um, it, uh, it's going to surprise people. It's going to eh, maybe scare people a little bit of the lifestyles that these people live, but uh, it's a good project. It is a good project, and it, it's, it's kind of sentimental. It's all about a reunion, about former baseball players. Tell my audience, did you have any great... Um, were you a fan of some older football players that were very famous in their day? Well, you know, it's interesting. I, my background is uh, is filmmaking, and it's and I find myself doing a lot of sports films. Personally, I'm not a huge sports fan, but what I am a huge fan of is the is the people behind it, the personalities behind baseball, football, whatever sport we're it's talking such about. A passion for they this. do, and it's something I share with them. I mean, the passion I have for film is the same passion that Billy shares with baseball. Well, I you know? just was talking to this actor just now, and I said. You know, Marilyn Monroe was married to a fabulous baseball player, Joe DiMaggio, and she knew nothing about baseball, but she was so attracted to their their aura because they had such a passion for what they were doing. Well, it's it's the shared passion that you have in the arts, that you have in baseball, and in all the other sports. It's that passion, that yearning to always be doing it. I think it's similar to being a kid. We never want to grow up, whether it's playing ball or whether it's shooting a movie. It's the passion of being a kid that you, you, you carry on throughout your life. And uh, it's something that I identify with, and that's what drew me to the project to begin with. As a director, did you have to do research? Did you have to find out more information about baseball to really understand how to direct this film? This film because of the unique nature of the script, I've really found myself researching more into you know the minor leagues, how it's structured, how baseball in general is structured through the farm league, and how they, how they find their players and develop their players over a period of years. So yeah, I've, I've delved deep into really learning about the essence of the business of baseball, but also meeting all the different uh, ex-players for the Yankees and for you know other teams. I've learned to I've been exploring the characters and what drives them, and also finding out the secrets. Uh, behind their stories on the road, too. Yes, so I heard that this is a very sexy movie. Billy told me this himself. Is it really that sexy? Yeah, it is. It's, it uh, really is? It's, if you can imagine being on the road for five months, and you know you got single guys, guys that may not be single, what are they going to be doing? I mean, they're only playing baseball two or three hours a day. they got a lot of time on their hands, so there's a lot wow. of sex. There's a lot of sex in the movie, huh? It's it's the true story. It is what it is. No holds bar. It's the true story. All right. Well, I can't wait. I'm, the more people I meet, 
interviewing here today, this evening, the more exciting I'm getting about this movie. Oh, good. But I want you to tell my audience some of the films that you've directed in the past. Well, I've directed, I uh, did a film called Red Dirt Rising, uh, which we released in 2011. It was about the origin of stock car racing, uh, 1930s, 1940s period film. Um, it, it was a challenge to, to produce because being a period film and being about stock car racing, uh, you know, it's kind of similar to this film in a lot of ways. It's a sport, uh, but it was also, it's an origin story and it's something that I worked hard to, to pull off. We've been successful. You can check it out, redderrising.com to learn more about it. Um, a lot of my other experience has been uh, with music videos. Uh, directed tons of music videos, especially relating to uh, uh, country and, and some rock bands as well. Uh, I'm actually, after I do this film, I'm going to be doing a film called A Shotgun Wedding, which is a uh, horror film about a... Uh, oh, I love wedding. horror movies. Fantastic. I love horror. I, you know, I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm also an actress, and I'm dying to be in a horror film. This I want to be the lady that owns the manor. Well, this one takes place in a small little chapel in the middle of nowhere, and it's uh, the perfect wedding day for the bride, but her uh, her ex comes back to exact revenge on her. Oh, my so, God. That sounds spooky. It's going to be a good ride. Sounds wonderful. You are a busy man. You do a lot of stuff. I'm trying to be. Have to be. So. Now, if we want to find out more information about you, as a director, do you have a website? I do. You can go to subtlefilm.com, S U T T L E F I L M.com. And that's uh, your last name, too, that's Suttles. That's my last name, yes. Tell my audience your full name again James Suttles, uh, James, J A M E S S U T T L E S. And it's Subtle? Subtle Film. Subtlefilm.com? That's correct. Wonderful. Let's toast. Do you have a drink? I do. All right. Do you want some champagne, maybe? Sure. That sounds great. Why not, right? Thanks so much for that wonderful interview, darling. Good. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darling, with more interviews right here at Foundation Lounge on Essex Street. It's all about the cast party for Reunion 108. Keep watching, more interviews coming up. Big champagne kisses. this event tonight I actually got an invite for this invite for this big uh, party you know they sent me an invite and I said why not go RSVP and check it out because I submitted myself for this project I didn't hear anything so I figured why not come down and walk around and you know give me a ball in the bat and the glove and here you are here I am now how did you tell my eyes a little bit more about Laura and Order okay um, years ago I played uh, a guy on Law and Order, dad, you know, my daughter's boyfriend was found dead and they suspected my son of being the killer and uh, I got really upset and had to go down to the, the, the police station and really straighten them out and everything turned out well. Champagne, darling, just for us. <laughs> Fantastic. You guys really interview in style. I love it. <laughs> well, they always give me champagne because you know it's all about champagne with Konya. Where can we get, expect to see you next? Uh, in fact, I just finished uh, a nice little supporting role on a film I did in Connecticut called Brilliant Mistakes. And that should be coming out in a few months. And um, I also do some commercials, so you might see me in a little John Hancock commercial coming out in a couple of weeks also. John Hancock? Who's your agent? Um, can we say? Yes. One 
wonderful ladies um, at Artist Entertainment Agency for, for my commercials. And um, I've been doing a lot of work with uh, wonderful people, with Legit, and um, I'm looking forward to working some more. I'd like to see you do more Denzel Washington type roles. I would love for Denzel to call me and say, you know, Robert, I'm taking a break. I'd like you to they take over. Yes, if they can't get <laughs> Denzel Washington, this is who they need. Absolutely. Forget Dennis Hayworth. Forget Dennis, Denzel Washington. I'm the guy. You're, you're the guy. You're the guy. If we want to find out what you're up to, what you're doing, the latest project, the latest film, the latest commercial, anything that you're doing, where can we go on the internet? You can go to... Um, uh, iActor, Robert McKay, iActor.com, and you can search me up, Robert G. McKay, and you can go to Spell I it. Robert G. McKay, M-C-K-A-Y, go to IMDB, and you'll see all my stuff and upcoming projects. Been a crybaby productions, darlings.